One minute. Dragon Seed Countdown. Updates the farm to Falcon Eyes of Startup and it's now controlling. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. 50 seconds now until liftoff. That FTS you heard is flight termination. Dragon, SpaceX, go for launch. We'll go for launch, buddy. SpaceX, this is resilience. Roger, go. Yes. Go for Let's launch and at 37 seconds, the International Space Station flying over Kennedy okay, Space Center. For one, for all. I love that slogan. To oh go shit. Catch it. Twenty seconds till liftoff. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Okay, nine is configured for flight. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six. six. Go, 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 go! Yes! And resilience rises! Yes, buddy! Only gravity contains humanity when we explore as one for all. Yes! <laughs> oh my god! That's the word we want to hear. Stage one propulsion is nominal. Oh, that roar. Merlin engine roar. On board Dragon and Falcon 9. Stage 1 is preparing to throttle down. This is in preparation cool. for max Q, which is maximum aerodynamic pressure. Stage 1, throttle down. There's that call out for throttle down. Stage 1. Power and telemetry continue to be nominal for the vehicle, now traveling at 262 meters per second. Supersonic. Oh, supersonic, we'll boy. Is supersonic, and we will be passing through Max Q here shortly, the largest structural load during ascent. Max Q. And there's that call out. That Falcon has passed through stage Max one Q. Bravo. One Bravo. And we've Target just one entered Bravo. stage one Bravo aboard mode. That's going to take them through the end of them. the first stage. I want to see them in the crew dragon. Second stage see the crew. activates off the coast of North Carolina. Speed. T plus one minute and forty seconds into flight, Dragon and Falcon Nine traveling seven hundred and nine meters per second. Seven. That call that M Vac Chill is underway, the Merlin vacuum Merlin engine. Merlin vacuum chill for um mission. Now with the call out of M Vac E chilling, similar to what we saw in the first stage Merlin engines. The second stage engine being prepared for its ignition coming up in just over 30 seconds from now. We're a half a minute away from three quick events in rapid succession. We're going to get main engine cut off. The nine Merlin engines will throttle down and then shut down. We're going to get stage separation. Stage one throttle down. And then ignition of the second stage engine. We've begun to throttle down in preparation for stage separation. Let me go. Let me go. Let me go. And you see that stage separation has confirmed. There goes that MVAC engine. Stage two. Crew one is now on their way to the International Space Station. Crazy, crazy. On the right side of your screen, you see stage two continuing to burn. Over on the left-hand side is stage one preparing for its return to Earth. Now currently on the left side, you can't make out much. Uh, it's a couple hours after sunset in Florida, but the grid fins have deployed on the first stage. The first stage is now unpowered, but with the velocity it had, it continues to coast up to an apogee before it begins to descend back into Earth's atmosphere. Now as we watch, maybe we'll see the lights of Florida or the really want to see the in the background, but otherwise there's not going to be much to see. On the right-hand side... Dragon, SpaceX, trajectory nominal. You can hear good, the call good. out. Trajectory is nominal. Copy, nominal trajectory. 
and we've heard call out Bermuda. That means Bermuda ground station has the signals from the second stage of the Dragon and Falcon 9. We're still continuing as stage two burns to listen for those abort zones. We are now in 2A through 2E to Echo, taking us up over the Northern Atlantic. Athletes. Right now you can see the second stage engine glowing with the standard uh, red uh, that we have come to uh, see over all these missions. Indicates everything's looking good. Power on the MVAC D engine continues to run at 220,000 pounds of thrust in the vacuum of outer space. Dragon SpaceX trajectory nominal. And trajectory nominal. Copy, nominal trajectory. We hear the, uh, the reply from the crew acknowledging we have a nominal trajectory. Dragon made it to the Falcon 9 second stage, heading into the low Earth orbit, where Dragon will then separate and begin its trip the rest of the way to the space station. This we'll be looking glow. for Seco, second stage engine cutoff, coming up at 8 minutes and 48 seconds after launch today, so about three and a half minutes from now, Dragon and Falcon 9 second stage currently flying 2,979 meters per second. Now currently the first stage has begun its descent. It is through Apogee beginning to come back down where it uh, coming up in another couple of minutes we will have the entry burn where we begin to slow down the Dragon first stage. SpaceX trajectory nominal. Nominal trajectory. Copy nominal trajectory. Another call out, another nominal trajectory, just what we love to hear. That voice you're hearing on board Dragon, that's Commander Mike Hopkins speaking for our four person crew as they continue their journey. Now, six minutes and 12 seconds after liftoff. Trajectory on the way to the still space station, nominal. Boy. Leah, you can see on the indicator altitude, 201 kilometers. Uh, we're now beginning to essentially level out and pick up velocity to get us into low Earth orbit. That's why it's decreasing, to level out. We're a little under one minute from the ignition for the entry burn on first stage. And we're about two minutes Dragon away. SpaceX, trajectory nominal. Copy, nominal trajectory. Great news, now seven minutes after launch, second stage engine continues to burn, everything looking good. And we'll see that continue to burn for another one minute and about 38 seconds. Right now on stage two, the crew's getting about uh, a little more than two and a half Gs of acceleration. First stage preparing to ignite for the entry burn. I think two and a half G's is about as much as you get on a roller coaster. Correct me if I'm wrong, it might be 3.5. I forgot. And we've got ignition of the entry burn, center engine, but, uh, followed by yes, yes, the yes. other two restart engines. First stage now getting ready to re enter the Earth's atmosphere. This is about a 29 second burn, and it's designed to slow the vehicle way down. We're gonna shed about 70% of the velocity of that dropping first stage by the time this landing burn completes. I should say by the time the entry burn completes, which is now over, first stage on target for the drone ship in the Atlantic Ocean. Meanwhile, we're watching second stage getting close to getting into orbit. That's right, we've got about 30 stage seconds two, more. Internal guidance. Stage one lands. Doing pretty good at it. Now just about 20 seconds more of stage two continuing to burn until we see second stage engine cut off or Seco will coast for a few minutes afterward to allow the rates in motion. Shannon. And Roger there, Shannon. there's that call for Shannon. Final, That's um, Shannon abort Island, zone. an abort zone, but it looks like we continue smoothly to orbit today. Boom. Shut down. boom, boom, boom. 
Beautiful. And we've got shutdown of the second stage engine on time. Let's see this. Let's see the landing. Launch escape system is disarmed. And SpaceX copies. And Leah, the words we like to hear, a oh, nominal we go, orbit we insertion. Can they land That's it? right, John. Nominal orbit insertion, as we mentioned. Stage two. Oh, looks like some action on stage Ooh. one. Something quite slow. Ooh, yes, 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 yes. Yes, I got it. Yeah. And I believe we've had a touchdown on the drone ship. We've got stage one has touched down on the drone ship. In the <laughs> no Atlantic one's clapping. Ocean. It's so normal. But now, now the more important news: second stage is in orbit, right where we want, right on time, and we're getting ready for our next major activity, which will be Dragon spacecraft separation. Oh, that was a good thing. Now, currently on the second stage, we are essentially venting pressure, purging the engine out, making sure everything is quiet in preparation. Hey, there they are. Look, look. Where's the zero G indicator? Take a look. That's inside Crew Dragon oh, right now. Our Crew 1 crew now coasting in low Earth orbit, still attached to that second stage. In just a couple of minutes, we should see that second stage separate and Crew Dragon will be flying free. Yes. Amazing. Leah, the mission timer shows 90 seconds to Dragon separation. Currently, Dragon is flying at 27,000 kilometers an hour. Full crew of four. Beautiful. Plus 11 minutes since liftoff today. Waiting on that second stage separation. But as you can see, our astronauts from left to right Shannon Walker, Victor Glover, Michael Mike Hopkins, Hopkins and Suichi Noguchi. Noguchi. Suichi Noguchi, yeah. Now on their way to the International Space Station. First trip to space for uh, Victor Glover. I wonder what he's feeling right now. That call out acquisition of signal in Newfoundland. That means the Newfoundland ground station is now receiving telemetry from Dragon. This view inside Mission Control Hawthorne. Teams continuing to monitor the vehicle. Now traveling at almost 27,000 kilometers an hour. Ten seconds to Dragon separation. Yes, go, go, go. Yes, success. And separation confirmed. You can see that second stage departing. Crew Dragon leaving it behind. They did it. Yay. On to the space station. Now 12 minutes, 25 seconds into today's flight. Our next thing we'll be looking for is nose cone deployment.